Hi there! Welcome to Bead With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Stars Bead, so your place for inspiration, product highlights, and things that make you uniquely you. Uh, whether it comes to stone, whether it comes to jewelry, um, and creativity. My son is after a little treat. He just had lunch, and he wants this little, little treat. Here you go. <laughs> hey guys! Give a few minutes as people are hopping on. I feel like I'm a little early today, you know. <laughs> but how's everybody doing? Um, you saw that I've been posting up some things. A couple reminders to you guys is we still have those beautiful uh, beaded bangles. And Deborah, I have uh, gotten your stash at least first in line for uh, what we have left. So you will be getting this stack right here. I think this was number 22 or something. So if you guys are interested in still catching the Friday Night Live, you can get a, a lot of bracelets. You can still get some beautiful seed beaded uh, designs as well as, um, I'm not wearing them today, but um, the, my tassel earrings that I love to wear. So there's a few photos uh, posted so you can get an idea and you can check the feed. I think it's pinned right at the very top. Okay, you guys. Um, and then yesterday I was introducing our face masks. So if you remember, um, we're doing a donation. So this is how they look in case uh, you ca didn't catch yesterday, okay? So they're nice and fitting over the ear. You can see. I love that these are fitting to my face in general. My hair is in my way. And Jonah did a much better uh, demo on how to put this on, so you can check yesterday's feed. All right, so you can see super fitted, cotton, cotton flannel. You can hear me. And the test, you know, to see how things work is take a candle and see if you can blow, blow the flame out. If you can, you're not blocking enough. Okay? Hey, Janice. Hey, Barb. Hey, Gina. Okay? So, what's nice about this, you know, it doesn't have a nose bridge, but I like it, it's shaped so it's not quite so uncomfortable. Especially those that are having to go back to work and be wearing these on an everyday basis. These are going to be like, I don't know, kind of like your underwear, right? So, you're going to need several of these. I don't think like one is going to uh, get you. So, if you didn't see, um, I posted a lot of the different patterns that we have. We're donating and uh, giving back. So, you know, every time you guys uh, get a mask, I, I want to be donating one as well. And then uh, some money will also be going to the Special Olympics, okay, for our beating family. All right. So, we've been talking about rocks. And so, I bet you guys want to do maybe a rock project, right? So I get this asked a lot, so I thought I would create a feed. So you can see here, I have my happy energy right now of all these beautiful rocks. And I'm going to show you different ways to kind of do a little wrapping with them, okay? So if you guys are joining me at home, why don't you guys grab a 22 gauge wire and a 20 gauge wire, okay? And we're just playing around, okay? Um, I want to show you how easy it is. Uh, I'm going to do two different styles here today. We're going to show you one method is um, wrapping your stones that don't have any holes, okay? And then also um, how to wrap one that does have a hole, okay? One of the questions I get asked is, Obviously, how do you wrap something without a hole? And number two is, I have these a whole strand of these big and chunky kind of beads, and you know, how can I make it lighter? You know, maybe you love the big and chunky, but you don't love the weight that goes with it, right? So there's a couple different ways to spread that out. Okay, one of the ways I'm wearing on my neck, so I've wire wrapped them all separate uh, so that it gives it length and it helps spread my beads out. And and then today we're going to show off making a big one into a pendant. Okay? Does that sound good? All right. So let's start off with, shall we do one? So you guys have rocks that, um, you know, don't have holes. Okay, we're going to be showing off probably some rocks here. So, you know, pebbles and stuff. Oftentimes if you go to a rock shop, okay, and, and find these ones that don't have any holes, Okay, uh, the same idea you could use for wrapping a um, shark's tooth, okay? 
Oh, thank <laughs> thanks, Steph. Yes, this is totally your style. Okay, so if you have those irregular rocks, let's grab one. Okay, I'm going, to, let's see, what do I want to use today? Um, I was going to do, maybe, oh, I was going to, let's do one of these rose quartz ones, shall we? Let's see, I'm going to get one. It doesn't really matter what shape it is. Okay, so I've got one here. This is a beautiful, high quality rose quartz. We do have those available, so if you want one, you can um, wrap one yourself too, okay? And so this one we are going to be, this has no hole. So I'm gonna wrap it with silver today and I'm using a 22 gauge wire. Okay, and the, the first process is probably a little bit easier since we're a little bit further away, okay? So I'm kinda straight, I wanna kinda straighten these wires out, okay? They were on the spool and they're, they get a little crazy. Okay, so we're gonna straighten these out. But ideally, we want to kind of make a perpendicular. So we're making a plus sign right here. Okay, hi Rita. Okay, now when we are doing this, I'm gonna be crossing and I'm gonna be holding at that cross. Okay, and one of the things we wanna think about is that we are not twisting one wire onto the other. We wanna be kind of twisting them kind of like a twist tie. Okay, so and I'm gonna just do, I don't know, three, three, maybe five wraps. And you know, I don't wanna stress this, it's just kinda, you know, loosey goosey kinda fun, but you know, you can certainly be, the better you get at this, but just doing something fast, okay? So I'm just twisting these wires together, about five, six, you know, till you get to a length that you like. You know, you can squeeze them together. My my perts are a little far as I was squeezing, but that's okay. Doesn't really matter. What we're creating is like a spine effect, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera around you guys so that you can see a little bit closer on this. Okay, so I just created this little binding, essentially. I'm gonna do that one more time. Okay, now you'll see I'm gonna bend my wires so that we get them kind of ready to go as we are going to lay our, where, where did my rock go? We lay our rock here, okay? Um, the best thing to do really is going to be having more like the point size so that you can catch it, okay? I'm trying to do this underneath my phone here. But I'm literally just holding this in place kind of on a flat spot, okay, on the back so that I can bring these wires up. Okay, so if you'll see from the side, I'm bringing these wires up, okay, while I hold that on the back. All right, so now you can see they're starting, starting to come around. So I'm going to take these. You can see that they're coming together and I'm going to... I'm going to choose this to be kind of the bottom, so that's why I'm doing it right here. Okay, so I'm going to cross these wires and we're going to do the same thing. It's easier to kind of get them perpend or like cross like that, okay, before you start your twist, okay. Now your wires are all long and crazy, but you're going to need them, okay. So just, just work slowly, so I'm trying to make sure that I keep my other wires out of the way. And again, this is wire, so you can manipulate it. Okay, and I'm just doing a couple wraps because that's all I'm gonna need because I'm going to fold this upward. Hey Susan, how's it going? Okay, and oh, hitting. Okay, and I'm going to bring these up because you'll see that now they're going to then cross here. So I'm going to take these two wires and I'm kind of letting the, the wire do its thing, right? It kind of naturally came to right here. So I'm going to go ahead and follow it. I'm going to twist, do the twist, okay? And when I get it up to the top, then my stone won't fall out, but let me get it back to where it was. And these wires are bendable, so I'm going to adjust here in a minute. And now i got to figure out which way it went. 
Who this was that? All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm twisting right here so that I can bend up here. So I'm gonna bend that against here. So you're kind of making wraps to secure your wires. Okay, so now you can see like those wires look like they're coming together. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap those together until we kind of work your way up to the top. You can do this less or more um, depending on your stone, okay? Oops, I think I... Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> grab this and actually I'm gonna come around here. Because again, I'm kind of going with the natural here. And essentially we're kind of trying to cinch the top. See how that goes? So now we're at the top and we're just still wrapping. And wire is cool because it's, it's forgiving. Okay, and this is just total free form, you guys. Okay, so I wanna bend this up. So now I'm gonna be coming up with all of my wires, essentially, from like four sides, imagine. Okay, see them all coming all crazy, coming at you. <laughs> so this might be hard to see. Okay, but you've got all your wires coming up. Okay, and essentially you wanna grab two of them. Okay, that are kind of across from each other. Okay, and we're gonna twist them and then this will become the bale. Okay, so you may wanna pick your ones that have the two longest ones. So if you kind of had a weird, um, okay, so this is where my bale's gonna go. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring these around here. Actually, I didn't secure that super well, so I'm actually going to get that under. So I can hook all my wires together. So now I'm keeping these two on top that I just twisted together because that's gonna become my bale. Okay, and then I'm taking these two right here. Okay, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap. Now I know it might feel like it's all crazy. It's okay, okay? I'm leading literally with my fingers and this is what I would consider like a bird's uh, nest wrap, okay? Because these are raw organic rocks, okay? And on this part of the bend, you don't need to do much wrapping, okay? Because we're going to clip most of this wire off and because we wanna hide it. Okay, so I'm clipping that off and then I'm gonna take a chain nose plier and I'm gonna just push those babies down. Okay, and actually, I didn't come around very well on this side, but I'm gonna make this a little prettier here. Okay, I'm bringing this down since I, and again, free form, just see how your wire, I'm hitting there, okay? So we've got ourselves a little wrap pendant, you can see. Might have to come up here and do it. Oh, I didn't connect that part, that's why. All right, so I'm gonna bring this part up. And I have a long wire right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I should have hooked into right here. All right, that's live, that's how it's gonna go. Okay, so that I can make sure my rock doesn't fall out here. That's why there's no like perfect design to do this, you guys, is because every rock has its own own deal, right? Kind of like you. Okay, so I hooked it in there so I can feel like that it's nice and safe, okay? And then I'm just gonna bring it back up. This is where you can use a bale making plier, you guys. So this is nice because it has a good size. Or if you have a pen or a pencil, you can do this part. But I'm holding my wires together so that I can make a good size loop. And you want to hold those wires together. Okay, really good. Now I'm, I'm going to bend backwards so that I can come around and get a loop. Then keep holding and squeezing as I come around so we can make that look like it's a 90 degree. 
see how that is okay take the flat nose so that we can be holding everything in place as we're working you can also use your nylon jaw so that you don't um, you don't mark up your wire too much but this is just for demo this is just for play okay and again so this is where you can be a little bit more thoughtful in the wrap so that you can cover up what you have on the base there and again wire is forgiving so mess around with it a little bit we're trying to do it right side up for you right okay so that's simple wrap okay i'm going to come around here fun press it down you can you know adjust so you can have more jagged lines but I but these are the twisted wires that help keep your pendant on so that's one way to a pendant and so if you want let's put it on my necklace here and see what it looks like don't worry Jesse you don't have to stay and watch anymore you can catch me on replays Okay, so here we got ourselves a nice wrapped pendant. Okay, I'm going to stick my little uh, piece in here and see if it'll, it'll fit so I can wear my new piece. Well, I don't think I made my bail big enough for that. Okay, but you can see it could hang right on the very end of any necklace or chain, whatever you guys are working with. My hair is all in the way today. Okay, so look how that looks. Not bad, huh? All right, so now let's do one with a hole, shall we? So, okay, so these were, you know, kind of showing off different ones. You know, I had done uh, doing that technique. So if you have that long style, you can still cut the edges. You'll come up on both sides and just keep binding. And again, you're going to kind of let your wire um, do the talking to you okay um and doing this style technique i found that it was a little bit easier using a about a 22 gauge on this style okay now um i'm going to show off another one i guess i can put my necklace back together um with i found this really cool pendant you guys <laughs> full of amethyst um i got it from our fabulous consignment shop fortunately I was wrong. I was thinking yesterday was Thursday, but um, today is Thursday. So they're going to be open, I think, tomorrow. I was thinking Friday, and I was a day off. Moving right along. Okay? All right, so I wanted to kind of maybe show one with uh, ones that do have a hole. So if you, you know, have something, we can choose a couple different ones if you have a, or if you even have one like this that has the hole across the top, you can do this uh, same method, okay? In this case, I'm gonna take about, I don't know, about a yard, because I wanna have enough. You don't wanna be short, okay? All right, this one, we're just gonna use one long piece, so this one, well, one might do from afar here, because it was a little bit hard for me to work underneath there, so it looked a little crazy. Um, let me do, shall I do this one? Okay, I'm going to do this nice, I only have one of these, these um, nice rose quartz. And here, again, I'm using a 20 gauge wire. Okay, so you want to make sure your uh, stone fits it. Okay, in this case, we're going to kind of go to the center of the wire here. Again, it gets a little crazy. And then we're going to bend one to the left, and then we'll bend one to the right. Shall we do that? All right, and this time I'm going to um, start my bail first thing on this one. Okay, so you can see I'm bringing that around. I'm not doing any wrapping, you guys. Let me show you what I got here. Okay, so I've got one facing to the going out to the left and I've got the other one going out to the right. We see that? Okay. My 
be easier to see from this direction. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm not going to wrap this, but I am going to go behind as if I was going to. Okay, and then I'm also going to bring this one up. And we're literally going to do a little crossover just like we did. But I'm going to do a lighter one this time. Okay, because this is part of my design, I guess, this time. So I'm holding this one, one wire flat, okay, while I bring this one around. Okay, this is a sweet design here. Cool, simple. Okay, you see how those wires are coming together here? And I'm trying to hold everything still, still right now. Okay, and then we're going to bring this around. I'm just going to be a little crazy. All right, so we're bringing the wires around here. Okay, so here. I'm just holding this with my finger and creating a little spiral deal. Okay, you can do a big, crazy, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's your deal right now, okay? Nope, might need to twist that some more here. Okay, bringing that around though. Now you could do some more, you know, wraps. I'm gonna just like keep it easy here t today, but you know, I'm gonna just lead the wire. Actually, I wanna come. This part of design, I'm kinda <laughs> making things up here as I go. Okay, I'm gonna spread these wires out as I come around the back. Okay, so I'm still kind of just holding, so that, see my spiral, guys? I still have it there. I'm going to spread it out now so that I can maybe make that a little bit more interesting. Okay, so here's what the back side looks like here. Okay, so there's my bale. I'm working my way up to my bale. So you could make this double-sided if you wanted. So, you know, you could do a spiral here in the back. You want to do one of those? In the back, let me see. And I'm just doing this with my hands. It's kind of hard here because my wire keeps running into stuff here. Okay, but I'm literally just working with my hands here, using the tool, your God given tools here your brain, your hands. Okay, and then come around here. Do -do 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 -do. Almost there. Okay, so see how now I'm kind of coming around here. And we can fix things. I guess like you could make that a little cooler looking, but this is so called the backside. Okay, but you can see now I'm led right up to my bale here so that I can literally take these and lean and, and bring it around. And I wanna hold that round round piece round while I pull this okay pinch that down a little bit more and again this is a bird's nest wrap so it can be free form but we're literally gonna just wrap this around I'm gonna keep that low go ahead and and kind of clip that Okay, and it looks like it's mine loosened a little bit as I was going, you can see right there, but that's a beautiful thing is that I can use more on this side by just literally pulling it and making some other style design. Okay, so that's completely up to you at this point. Okay, I'm just messing around now. Okay, but cool fun pendant good way to wrap it give it some interest and you could add beads onto here you could probably add a little tassel on the bottom if you want to but quick and easy all right two ways to play with gemstones since we've been talking about gemstone week or you can be simple and slide it right onto a clear stretchy <laughs> Okay, different ways to make that look nice. So this is what we made out with a little bit further away. Here, can I see that? Mm, I don't know. 
I'll show you what these look like now. Okay, so there's the uh, front side, there's the back side. Okay, I think I did a little bit better when I wasn't trying to do it right so close. Okay, but here's, here's one and here's these. If you guys like some of these Aura, these purple Aura quartz, we have some of those available. So don't forget, Friday night at 8, that's tomorrow. Friday night live, you guys, uh, we'll probably be seeing a few of these rocks, but we'll be seeing some beautiful beads and stuff too, okay? So hope you guys had a great time with me today, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Don't forget, we are on YouTube, so don't miss out on any of the Bead With Me's. You can catch that in the links right above or in the description uh, below, however it's happening right now. Don't forget to click the bell on YouTube. That way, then you will get the notifications. And if you want to get the live notifications here on Facebook, you can also do the same thing. So right now on this feed, you can click the little down arrow and say, hey, make sure I get the live feed from Stars Beats. Okay, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day and we will see you tomorrow.